हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल इमेजनरी इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज कीर्ति एंड लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन ऐड द रेसिपी एंड अपलोड द इमेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वेरीफाई द टोकन वी विल सी द ऑथोराइजेशन देन वी विल क्रिएट अ मिडल वेयर इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच माई लास्ट वीडियो सो आई विल रिकमेंड यू प्लीज वॉच इट Now if I click on this share your recipe, I am trying to add any recipe. I am able to add it, even though I am not logging, but still I am able to add it. So what we want when user is logging, then only we will able to add any recipe. So let's go back to our VS Code. First, I will go to our recipe item dot JSX component. sorry our add food recipe here what we did here we send the one headers and content type i will add a authorization header and we will pass let me make the a small it doesn't matter if it is small or capital but yeah so i will pass the our token and add the bearer at the beginning and space and then we will have this local storage we save the token in local storage so we get the token from the local storage and send in this headers so let's go back to our backend and we will create the middleware to verify this token i will create a folder called middleware inside that i will create a file auth.js so first we will require the jwt from json web token then i will create a method verify token this will verify the token that we have sign i will make it a sync function and since this is a middleware it will take the three argument request response and next so we will for next for call the next middleware first we will extract the token from the headers if you remember we have sent the authorization header here i will copy this and paste it here it will return the token now first we check if the token is there or not if token is there then first we will split it because we add the bearer and then space so we will split it by space at index 1 we will get our token here i will show you we have the bearer space and our token then jwt has method verify to verify the token it will take a two things first is token and second one is our secret key we have the secret key store in our environment variable dot env file so we will say process dot env dot secret key then one callback function it will take two things error and decoded decoded contain the payload that we have sent while generating the token if we get error so simply we will return the response with status 400 bad request will say invalid token if you haven't watched my previous video where i have shown how we can generate the token authenticate the user you can watch it so we will here we will return the invalid token or else what we will do we have the decoded so we will store it in request dot user for i will console log here that decoded value so you will get an idea if once it's done we will call the our next middleware we call the next and if token is not there, there so simply we will return the this error message invalid token and we will export this verify token function module dot export now we go to our routes recipe here before this add recipe add any recipe first we will verify the token and then only we will add recipe so let me add that verify token here we will require it from middleware first we will verify the token and then user add recipe 
here we have the method add recipe so let me go to that add recipe method and here we will receive that request dot to user if you remember in middleware we have stored that payload value in request dot to user i will console log that request dot to user here so you will get idea request dot sorry request dot user we will console log here and then i will go to the browser open the inspect console then add a new recipe let me quickly add something instruction choose the random file add recipe here we have added the recipe and if i go to the vs code this is our add recipe here we console log let me scroll down scroll down here you can see the email and id is printed here we will get this in request dot user our email and id this is the payload we have sent while generating the token if i show you here here you can see we have sent the email and id while generating the jwt token and we send it in a request dot user and call the next middleware then i will go to the our recipe schema in model here we have now we will add the another field called created by so it will store the that user id who created that recipe so i will give the type mongoose dot types sorry schema dot types dot object id and it will refer the user table so we will pass the user it will store the user id who created that recipe we'll go to the recipe.js here we console log the request user if you see we get the id from here so we will save this created by colon request dot user dot id we get that id from here request dot user now we go back let me add one recipe here uh let me give some nice name rice time then we'll add ingredients instruction choose the file randomly i am choosing the image now we have successfully added if i show you here this is the created by is field is added with the id user id if i show you in table let me refresh go to the user here we have the one user and this is id so created by and this is the user id we have stored in this created by field so uh, what i will do i will uh, delete all the recipes that we have so let me delete all the recipe then i will add the new recipe here we don't have anything in user we have one user only click on share your recipe and then i'm going to add the new recipe let me copy this and paste it here ingredients then i will copy this instruction let me choose the file oh uh, no let me choose the paneer image click on add recipe here you can see the recipe has been added uh let me add the one more recipe title time ingredients then instruction i will copy it from our notepad i will quickly copy then choose the file image then add recipe now we have the two recipe here you can see we have the two recipe if i log out and then try to add recipe still i am able to add the recipe what we want if user is log out log in then only user will able to add the recipe so for that we will go to our home page where we have that button 
share your recipe here we have that button so first we will check if token is there and then only user will be redirect to that add recipe page so here i will create one method add recipe and i will copy this navigate statement and paste it here and we will call that add recipe when user click on that share your recipe button we will call this method to open that pop up we will store that value in use state one variable so we'll create one use state here is open initially it will be false let me go back to our new bar here we have that model component we have used so let me copy this and uh, i will paste it here and currently this is open value is false so this won't open then here we will check if token is there or not so we will get the item from the local storage and we check if the token is there then only we will navigate and if token is not there means user is not logged in so we'll open that pop up set is open true now let me go back here model is not defined so let me add the model and here inside that we have the input form component so let me refresh now here you can see pop up is display if i click on my recipe favorites add recipe that pop up is display until we log in let me add the email and password click on login now if i click on share recipe i am able to redirect to the address so page. if i go to the my recipe i don't see any recipe so let's list down the recipes under the my recipe first i will log out and create a new user let's add a email puja@gmail.com and password 12345 click on sign up we have added the new user now we have the two recipes let me go to the vs code here we have the path my recipe it will show all the user current user recipes so first i will create the method cons get my recipe async we will make this function async and then we will get the user's data from the local storage we have stored the user data in local storage let me parse that data local storage dot get item then we declare one variable all recipes which store the all the recipes and we call the method this get all recipe method which will return all the recipes that we have so it return the all the recipes then we will filter out the recipes as per the current login user so here we will use the filter method we'll say item dot created by equal to equal to that user dot id current user id and we will filter out the recipe if i show you here inspect go to our application here we have the user and its id we will get the i user id from here and if i show you in database let me go to the database here we uh, let me refresh yeah we have the two items and this created by where we store the user id so we will check if that created by equal to user id then we will return the item then we add a attribute loader and we call the method get my recipe which will return the current user recipe and we redirect into the same component home let me click on the my recipe we don't have anything right now because this is the new user we have created 
we have this email puja dot com. So let me go to this our new bar. What I will do? I will show the user current user in logout. Uh, I mean login in front of login. We will show that current user. We'll say user dot email. If that user dot email is present, we will say user dot email. Otherwise, we will show the empty string. Now let's go back to the browser. Here it's saying cannot access user before initialization. So let me see what's going wrong here. We haven't put it in a double code. We need to put it in a double code. Same thing we have did in our app dot jsx. Let me put it this user in a double code. Now let me refresh. Yeah. Here you can see. Uh, let me put that email in. parenthesis so i will add the parenthesis put it in back tick and then i will add the parenthesis and this will go in dollar curly braces user dot email now we go back here we can see the user email my recipe we have no we don't have any recipe right now because this is the new user so let me go back to our kitu dot at the rate gmail dot com. Here we have two recipes. So if I click on the home, we have the two recipe, and if I click on the my recipe, here we have the two recipe that I have added earlier. So let me log out and log in again. Currently, so let me log in with puja at the rate gmail dot com password login and create the new recipe here. Enter the title, pizza. The ingredients. Let me copy this from here. Then instruction. Choose the file. Open. Add recipe. Now you can see we have the newly added pizza. Now we have the three items. But if I click on my recipe, I only see the recipe that I have added. Now, if I log out and log in again, the key to add the gmail dot com password login. Now I have the three recipe. In my recipe, I only see the recipe that I have added. So, in next video, we'll see how user can edit and delete the recipe. If you haven't watched my previous video, so I will recommend you to watch it. So you will get the better understanding. If you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to Imagineer Engineering thank you for watching